What is up guys, Yoshio here, I got you a tank review on the tier 4 Russian main battle tank, the T-72, my favorite tank. Now with that out of the way ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's get right to the stats. Okay, so the damage is 550, the penetration is 310 millimeters, the damage per minute is 3769, the reload time is 8.76 seconds. The maximum speed is 55 kilometers an hour. Yes, it can reach that top speed under its own power, but it will take some time. However, it can make it go up to the top speed quicker with the cruise skills, so keep that in mind. The 0 to 2 kilometer rate is 6.53 seconds. The vehicle mass is 41,458 kilograms. The whole traverse is 30.78 degrees. The camouflage is 15% across the board. The V range on the move is 400 meters, which is great. The can depression is minus 6 degrees down, plus 2 degrees up. The minimum spread is 0 0.119 degrees. The aim time is 2.45 seconds. And the turn diverts is 36.72 degrees. Now with that out of the way, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go right into the ammo. So there's three different ammo, and I'm going to go through that as best as I can. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's get right into the ammo. For the ATFS, the saddle size is 1. The damage penetrating is 783 to 957. The damage not penetrating is 131 to 638. The damage range is 1.5 meters. The penetration is 40 millimeters. The speed is 850 meters per second. The minimum spread is 0 0.170 degrees. The aim time is 2.6 seconds. The reload time is 10.3 seconds. The fire chance bonus is 100% and the bonus module damage is 50%. Now with that out of the way, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time to get to the high explosive and take ammo. So with that, let's get right into that ammo. For the heat ammo, the saddle size is the same. The damage is 495 to 756. The penetration is 420 millimeters. The speed is 905 meters per second. The minimum spread, the aiming time, and the reload time are the same, but the maximum damage bonus is 25%, the fire chance bonus is 300%, and the bonus module damage is 25%. Now with that out of the way, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the armor piercing fin stabilizer to scar and sabo. This ammo type is actually very good, so with that, let's get right into that ammo type. For the APFS DS, the cell size is the same. The damage is 495 to 605. The penetration is 310 millimeters. The speed is 1750 meters per second. That's insane. The minimum spread is 0 0.140 degrees. The aim time is 2.6 seconds. And the aim time is 10.3 seconds. For that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're going to get right into the armor. So with that out of the way, let's get right into the armor, ladies and gentlemen. For the hit points, it is 2,265. The hull is 205 millimeters in the front, 90 in the sides, and 45 in the rear. The hull composition is textolite laminate. The turret is 460 in the front, 175 in the sides, and 75 in the rear. The composition of the turret is steel insert. So with that, Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is time for the most epic battle you'll ever see in my, in my experience in the T-72. This is my favorite take. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the battle. So with that, let's go right into this battle. Alright, so a little story. Patches before this patch, the tank was so fast that it could reach its top speed in 5 seconds flat. That is actually pretty insane for the tank. You'll see in previous videos of this T-72 tank that it goes quick. Right now in this battle you'll see it's a little sluggish. I think they nerfed the, um, the, the speed it goes up to when it gets to the top speed. I think that's what they did. I personally think it needed that kind of nerf because it was going too fast. But you know what? It was fun while it was like that before it was nerfed. But it kind of needed that 
Now I'm gonna be honest with you, it needed that, but its armor is really good. Now you'll see in this battle that the OF-40 takes a big hit. Now I'm gonna tell you about the OF-40 real quick, even though this is a T-72 review. The OF-40 is not designed to take on things head on. The armor does not exist in that machine whatsoever, let's say that. It's a glass cannon. So, it's more for the speed and the gun. That's the same thing as Leopard 1. Also, as a matter of fact, got the T-72. It's actually superior than the OF-40 because of the gun as well. The, the gun on the T-72 is actually a 125mm smoothbore gun. That's why I'm using armor piercing, fin stabilized, discarding saber. You're able to shoot that kind of ammo, and look at that, there's the OF-40 that took out pretty much half his health from a single shot. And that tank right here is pretty much dead. Now this gun is actually very accurate, both stationary and on the move. On the move, it takes more skill because it goes faster than the Chief Denmark 2. Now, what's also important is you gotta know how to aim on the move with this machine. That's gonna be very important later on if you ever want to pick up this machine. It is actually very friendly as far as new players go. Now watch two tanks, stay stationary and they die. There goes one. Where's the other one? And this one's a BMP. Why is it standing still? And there it goes. The Super Sherman gets killed by somebody else, but I don't know who. But it dies super quick. Looks like the oh, the Scorpion killed the Super Sherman, but good on him. Or her. Who knows? Now, originally, oh, watch this. This is good. T-62. Dead. Uh, back to what I was saying. The uh, Originally, I was going to have somebody support me by doing this recording. Unfortunately, that wasn't going to happen now. Well, um, the good news is, uh, I do have somebody else, but you'll, it'll be mentioned on a video May 1st. This is a little surprise, so this person does not know what I'm going to do. So, hopefully you guys will enjoy that video for May 1st. That I have planned in the future, and it's going to be... A great video. It's, it's gonna be a short video. But you know what? If it, it's the thought that counts, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. If you ever want to do something for somebody that you care about, you might as well do it with your thoughts in mind and as well as your heart. Because you know what? People are going to love it. It doesn't matter if it looks good. It's the thought that counts. Identify. Now watch this. This is what I mean about firing on the move and you'll be able to kill this thing. Look at that. On the move. This gun is actually super accurate. And look at that. I'm charging in head on. You can't do that with the OF-40. You can with this machine. You can with the Cheat the Mark II. You can with the T-64. You can with the, the um, M60A1. You can't. You, that's about it. Oh, and the Type 82, the Type 82, you can do that same thing there. As well as that shot there. That was on the move too. See, I am, I'm master, I've mastered firing on the move in the T-72. This guy was annoying. But I was like, you know what, I'm going to kill this guy. I did miss that shot. Just, it's not perfect, but you know what? He dies anyway. I thought I was going to get him. If you miss your first shot, that's fine. You can always fall off and get a kill. Now as you can tell, I already have 10 kills. I am that good in this machine, even though the difficulty is on easy. You could probably get that and get good enough at challenging. But it's a very rare chance, so don't count on it. There's a chance you might get more damage, but you know what? It's as long as you know what you're doing, 
you're good to go. So this is why on my reviews, I always put it on easy. Because I don't want to see the guy that gets embarrassed by my tank dying. Looks like we got the but you know what, I do. this happens at one of the tanks. It happens here. Am I trying to rig it? No. I just want to make sure you guys get the best experience for this vehicle. I'm going to review. So, what's that? Now, this is pretty. There's going to be two oh, amazing things. Here's the first one. Hi, you die now. There's going to be another one in, a, in a, about a minute or two. So, bear with me. There's, if you could tell on the list. Oh, there it is. <laughs> now, the Turan 6 ran that light tank, and I got a funny story about ramming. It's there. I just killed that vehicle. Alright, so, I have another tank. That's the, uh, the t next tank up, and it's the T-72A. There is a tank smaller than that tank that the Turan 6 rammed, and it only fires rockets. I went full speed. Ran the vehicle, and it swerved. I believe it was to the right, right to the rear. And I kept going. Down. So pretty much, I just plowed it right into my hole, and it was gonna die. It was not to the effect. It was better than what the transit did, but it's still funny. Just, it's funny to see a light tank die to, to a main battle tank by ramming. Now. With that, ladies and gentlemen, did you see how many kills I got? You're gonna see in the post battle results how many kills I got. I am so good in this T72 on the, this difficulty. I am always gonna be at the top of the team. So, with that, let's get right to the post battle results. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the post battle results, and this is the end of the video. Now, if you like this video, give it a like. Don't forget to comment, because I want to hear what you think about this video, if you want to hear more. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell, so that way you can get all the content. And with that, that's the end of it. And I'll see you guys later, May 1st. Try not to forget that date.